a lot of jigs and techniques on cutting tapered legs on the table saw. But this sled is totally different. Designed by Steve Ladder, it doesn't rely on the miter slot to guide it. Instead, it has a hardwood strip that is guided by the ripsaw fence. The sled consists of a base made from 3 quarter inch MDF. The leg registers against this adjustable fence, which is held by a couple of star knobs, and is held in place by this adjustable clamp. At the bottom of the sled, there is a stop block which has a screw just protruding from it which registers against the foot of the leg. There is a handle, and then on the right-hand side we have this strip of hardwood which registers against the rip fence and is held in place by this L-shaped block of wood which is clamped to the saw's rip fence. For all the measurements, consult Steve Ladder's article in 229 of Fine Woodworking Magazine. Let me show you how the jig works by showing how to cut a leg that's tapered on two sides, the most common type of tapered leg. First thing to do is to mark your leg where the taper starts at the bottom of the apron and where the taper ends by marking it on the foot of the leg. What we do is we put the leg into the jig and the first thing to do is to align the start of the taper with the edge of the sled and then we make sure that the end of the taper is also aligned with the sled. Bring the bottom of the fence against the leg and also clamp that down. And lastly, we want to just secure the workpiece using the toggle clamp. Now we should be good to go. But there's one other thing. I don't want to remove all the wood on the taper. I want just to leave a little bit to clean up with a hand plane or a sander. So what I'm going to do is just move the sled and the workpiece combination back from the saw blade by about a 32nd of an inch. I'll lock down the rip fence and we are ready to start cutting tapers. Now let's cut the first taper. To make the second taper, there are no adjustments to the sled needed. Just rotate the leg 90 degrees so that the first cut is now facing up. So that was cutting a two-sided taper. Let me now show you how to cut a four-sided taper. The first thing you want to do is to make sure that your layout lines are on all four sides, both for the start of the taper and for the end of the taper. And the first two cuts start just the same. Place it in the sled, like so, and clamp it down, and we should be ready to make the first cut. So that's the first and the second sides of the leg tapered. Now to cut the third and the fourth side, we continue to rotate the workpiece clockwise. However, you now have a tapered side which is against the face of the fence. So you need to adjust the fence slightly towards the edge of the sled to take account of the narrower workpiece. Once we've done that, we can go ahead and cut the third and the fourth sides with no further adjustment needed.
So that's the third taper cut. Now we're going to do the fourth side. You shouldn't need to adjust the fence. What you may need to do with some of the older type of toggle clamps is actually use a cutoff as a shim. But for this newer one, you don't need to do it, it's self-adjust. So here we are, ready to do the fourth cut. So there we have it, a four-sided taper and a two-sided taper cut on the same sled quickly, easily and above all safely.